so if you hear the ruptured booth, um, there's a corner with uh, a dozen, at least a dozen RK3066 mm -hmm. HDMI dongles, and uh, some are not, like this one is not. These wow. two? Well, we, are, we have different pricing strategy. Like yeah. Some of them are single core, and the rest of them are dual core. So there are so single core here, different single core here levels. This row is single core. Uh, except this one. This one is dual core. Dual core. Uh, we, we we list them by brand. Yeah, by so brand. Okay, so this is the brand. Yeah. So brand, 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 brand. Yeah. And now, what's the difference in price between a single core and a dual core? Is it like double? Okay, go. You mean the performance? Or the price? Uh, the price uh, for the dual core solutions, the price you can you can looking at like uh, 35 FOB from the manufacturer. 35 here? And this? No, 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 it's general price. General so price for the, 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 the general price for like a uh, dual core solution is under $35 for, for the whole finished product. Dual core is 35 and how about single core? Uh, it's under 25 Under 25 yeah. So there's like a $10 difference, this is very right, small. Right, 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 right. And they all seem to have like fans, you know, like holes to get the, well, not fans, but I mean like array uh, holes for... Yeah, to, 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 for the thermal control. Yeah. This one doesn't, for example. But it might get the air through the USB or something. Uh, for this one, the PCBA is is a little bit bigger than the rest of them, so the, you know the the separation of the head is better. That's one of the things they need to do. No, when they, they have done the box, the design, they need to check how much heat. It yeah, 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 yeah. People, Otherwise, people has done has done it. So all these have checked like for hours and hours to check and measure the heat. Uh, of course. Otherwise, it cannot be in mass production. So this is a company brand MX1 here. Yeah. Minix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IMT. Joe yeah, yeah. Yi. Skyworth. UG00S. And the one in your hand. Nexion. This is Nexion. Yeah. So here, I open up the Nexion so we can see inside. Uh, so on one of these sides is a dual core. Right. Which one? Which side might be? See which one is bigger inside. So this one is the core. So the core is over here behind, and this is this kind of thing is to get the heat away or yeah, something. Yeah, this is the heat sink. Heat sink. And make it stable. Otherwise, people probably would, would shut it down for like uh, one year. So the heat must be must be very controllable because people leave it in their TV and it might stay on all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not a good idea if they start fires and stuff, right? Uh, well, it, it might not be that serious, but yeah. well, the less heat generated, the better. So, yeah. based on this concept, people yeah. people have been working on the on the heat thermal control a lot. So, since when is the RK thirty six six ready? In these, it's like been a couple of three months already that people have been able to show. Yeah, it's, it's already in mass production for like uh, one or two months. Eight RK three zero sixty or these kinds of products. Uh, this kind of product has been in the market for like a year. Yeah, but the dual core solution has been in the market for like a couple of months. A couple of months. Yeah. So um, this is a trend. Yeah. It's coming like crazy. These HDMI sticks. Yeah. Um, and you're also showing some mirroring and DLNA. Can we see how that works? This is a mirroring process. So is that like a standard for mirroring? Is that the uh, is that Miracast or something else? It might be. It's a private protocol. Uh, Rapture. Well, simply speaking, it's a combination of mirroring technique plus DLNA. So, for example, if we're if this is pure mirroring. This end, which is the sending end, is has to be based on rock chip. What is this? Uh, this is 5G dongle. So in the you know during the show the 2.4G okay. is. So you don't want to use the built-in Wi-Fi using a special Wi-Fi? Uh, or 5G. Even the 5G, yeah. 5G. Uh, you know BGN. Uh, this yeah. is A. A. So okay. ABGN. Uh, okay. The spectrum for A is wider. Okay. Because no, not too many people use this during yeah. the show. Okay. But five uh, two point four G is is too crowded. Yeah. So you're that's one of the things with Rockchip. You support a whole bunch of dongles, even like some three uh, G dongles and some Wi Fi dongles. It just yeah. works. Yep. So here you're doing uh, mirroring, and if you you go in uh, uh, some kind of multimedia. Exactly. Oh yeah, I show the media. 
So when it's playing a video, it turns itself into the DLM mode. So instead of uh, sending the video from here, it just takes the video from the internet directly here? Uh, not really. So on this side, it doesn't do the end decoding. Okay. It actually just send the file as is to the display. And the display use the player to play the video, which okay. will, you see, uh, maximize the resolution. Okay. Otherwise, for example, this is 800 times 600. Yeah. If the place video here and in a mirror to there, it's 800 times 600. Nice. For example, this one is 720p. Yeah. So this is pretty much a tactic combination yeah. of the DLNA and yeah. Wi-Fi. So if you do, a, if you exit here, go back to the main menu. Yeah. You will switch into the mirroring, mirroring? mode. Uh, when you're in mirroring mode, is this one doing all the UI rendering and this one is just displaying it? Yes. This one is not doing any rendering? It's not doing rendering, it's just decoding. Decoding? Uh, yeah, decoding the, the whatever stream from here. Okay. Yeah, this one encodes the screen, send it to here, and this one just plays. And do you need to have a rock chip on this side to do this? Or yes. you have yes, to have a rock chip sure. tablet or yes, smartphone? Yes, because it's a private protocol, so other devices cannot support this product. It's not like an application? No, it's just like AirPlay. So yeah. other the, the machines or the devices other than Apple's cannot do the So it, it needs to be uh, inside the core of how Android is made, right? Yeah. It's like in the software of Android. It's not an application on top of Android. This is just technology. Uh, it's it's, it's highly rely on our hardware. So it has to be you has to be using rock chips encoder and decoder. Otherwise it's it's in the Android framework. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Cool. So lots of HDMI sticks coming out. Yep. And uh, this is Cortex A8. So there's a new, um, there's a new 2928 announced. Yeah, I guess it might soon. come soon in sticks as well. Yeah, and even cheaper than 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 the current single core solution. So it's going to be even cheaper than the Cortex A8, and it's actually going to be faster. Yeah. And how soon do you think it might be in this kind of size, in these four factors? Uh, actually, the reference design is already already being tested. Yeah. And hopefully people can see them everywhere in the market after CES. After CES for sure. Yeah. And this is like a few hundred million that needs to be sold in the next few months because uh, lots of HDTVs need right. to become smart. And it's cheap. So and it's cheap, For yeah. example, most of people marketing them as a mini PC for the dual core solution in the market. So it should be a very attractive point for, for selling. I just think it's insane to think that today the full computer is here yeah. and uh, people can buy a new one every six months with a new processor because and, it's so and cheap. It, co it costs nothing. Yeah. So they always have the latest, fastest. Right. Just update this and give this one to, or just, I don't know, put it somewhere else and make a, like a... But the retail price can be under like $70, so it's, it's really nothing to, to, the, to the end user. Cool. So, and the quad core is coming after CES as well. And that's also going to be this size. Sure. And it's going to be faster than this. Uh, How much faster than dual core? Theoretically, yes. Yeah. Because it's quad core, so it's better than the dual core. Nice.